Hey guys, welcome back to the Sideburn Hunter. Today I wanted to discuss the evolution of hunting knives that I've carried with me in the field. When I first started out, I thought I needed something just like this. A big skinning knife with a gut hook on it. I quickly realized that this was not the knife to get this job done for a couple reasons. One, a gut hook is imprecise and gets jammed up very easily. Two, this knife is simply too big. You need a more precise way to make cuts than this huge knife. It's hard to control like this. This is better for fleshing than for skinning. The other reason that I quit using a knife like this is they get dull very easily and guess what? I'm not good at sharpening knives. Along with that big skinning knife, I'd carry something like this. This is a Gerber tree saw that I'd use as a bone saw. This thing is huge and this thing is heavy. After carrying those huge knives around for a couple years, I went on a hog hunt and I witnessed one of the outfitters using a very small paring knife to break down a hog. I'm talking like less than a two inch blade sort of paring knife. So what did I do? I went out to the dollar store and picked myself up a four pack of little paring knives. Guess what? Those were total garbage. They didn't have a sharp edge on them, they wouldn't keep an edge, and like I said, I'm not good at sharpening. So I stuck with the paring knife idea, and eventually I determined that these little Victorinox paring knives worked fantastic. They're about $8 a piece, they're very sharp, and at $8, I can just throw them away when I'm done. I carried these around in the field with me for a few years, I used them with great success, but eventually it was time to upgrade. Along the way, my bone saw also got a lot smaller. Yes, this bone saw is very small. That makes it slightly harder to use than the giant one, but boy, is it light and it's still very effective. Since I'm no good at sharpening knives, the best solution for me was to go with a replaceable blade style knife. This is my go-to knife. It's a Taito 1.1. It has a replaceable blade, scalpel style knife. I love this knife for a couple reasons. Number one, it's very lightweight. Number two, cleans up very easily. Number three, I don't have to sharpen these blades. Number four, these blades are incredibly sharp. Ask my thumb. You may think a knife like this is too small or too sharp to break down an animal, but this is actually the perfect tool. All you need is this tip to pull that skin off and then it's very tiny and you can get into those tight places to separate those muscle groups. I like this knife so much in fact that I even carry it home to process animals. I recently discovered that I needed to keep a knife on me inside of my binocular harness. For that, I chose the Havilon Peranta, which is just a small, lightweight, inexpensive, replaceable blade knife. This isn't my go-to knife, but it's nice to have when you're separated from your pack. In addition to those two knives, I keep a Leatherman with me, which makes a great additional utility knife. And then on top of that, I carry a knife right on my shoulder strap. So right now I carry the Taito 1.1, Havilon Peranta, a Leatherman, and an everyday carry knife. So guys, I hope you got something out of the short video. Maybe you're great at sharpening knives and that that works for you in the field. That's fantastic. For me, I'm just not good at sharpening knives and it's great to be able to just quickly replace a blade and move on. I certainly do recommend the Taito knives. And I hope you guys can subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, please like this video. And until next time, you've been watching The Sideburn Hunter.